welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm from LSE Digital, and today we're going to show you how to build a query. Um, before we begin, let's discuss what a query is. Um, imagine you have a database of over 30,000 consumers, and you want to send a mailing to just the females. Well, you will build a query to do that. Um, another good way to look at what a query is, is you are simply handpicking people um, that satisfy traits from your database. Um, within the platform, you can create queries from many different ways. So today, we're going to come over here to our menu, select data, manage, and then from the drop down, well, drop up, <laughs> we're going to choose data. Now, on this screen is your view data screen. You'll notice there's different several contact sources that you can use. We're going to click query, and then we're going to create query. All right, what you see here now is our dialog box where we can choose a database. Um, we can save the query with a unique name, uh, save it into a, a location, and we can also choose um, two different types of queries. We're just gonna do a regular query for today's demonstration. And we're also going to choose a database that we did from our last uh, tutorial. And for this tutorial, we're also going to um, query people from the database whose email domain part is equal to a particular company's domain. This is our database that we created in our last tutorial. We're going to select, and we're going to give our query a unique name. We're going to browse for our location, um, and this is just for good housekeeping. You want to try to keep your environment in a nice, tidy area. So we're going to choose our LSE Video Queries folder, and we're going to click OK to close the box. OK, so now this is where you can actually build your criteria and choose the different types of criteria you want for your query. Um, in this case, we're going to choose data fields. And we're going to choose email domain part because, again, we want to find everyone whose domain part is equal to LSE Digital. Your operator is going to be is equal to, and you put in your value. Click Done to close. All right, so at the bottom here, you have these options. You can save, you can save and calculate, you can save and close or cancel. Now, if you just save, it's just going to save it and keep the box open. Um, if you save and close, it will save, but it won't calculate. We're going to save and calculate so that we can see how many people satisfy our criteria. Here, you can choose to have an email notification sent to you. Now, this is good when you have multiple data jobs running or you know it's going to be a long um, query to calculate. So by choosing this, you'll get a notification. It's optional, but um, it's really good when you have multiple queries running. You click Submit. Now here, you can click the data job ID so that you can see your data job in progress. Now, this was a small um, query, so you see here, it's already completed. However, if this was a longer query, you'll have an option to refresh to see your status. All right, so now that we have our query, we want to make some more adjustments to this. We want to find people whose email domain is equal to LSE Digital, but who's in the marketing department. So how can we do that? There's several ways we can. Today, we're going to use this query and just add another criterion to it. So as before, you want to go here to your data menu, manage, click data, click queries, and then create query. We're going to choose our database from our last demonstration. And this time, we're going to save our query to find people who are in the marketing department. Okay, so we are going to click OK to close our box. All right, so as you saw before, we are now going to select query because we want to reference the query we just created.
And now we also want to add from data fields our department and set that equal to marketing. Similar to last time, we can choose save and calculate. We can choose to have an email notification sent to us. Click submit. And we have four people in our query. This concludes our demonstration on how to make a query. We hope you enjoyed it. Who is LSE Digital? Everything we do is backed by our quality data, meticulously collected and updated frequently by our team of experts. When you partner with LSC, you have your own team of experts who work with you to plan and execute all the steps of an effective program from strategy and audience selection to content development and promotion. Our team delivers campaigns that appeal to and connect with your target customers. This is the intersection of data and strategy that brings results.